Hey everyone and welcome to the Cloud Gaming Stream Channel. Today Parsec released update 150-74. Who cares? I hear you ask. Well we do because this is a huge update as far as we're concerned for Parsec and the reason why is one of the images that you're looking at right now is actually from Parsec. The other is Moonlight, both at 1440p, both running on an NVIDIA Maximum Settings 2080 Super. PC in Canada. Now my ping to Canada from the UK generally is around 100 milliseconds. So this is an absolute huge update for Parsec which is actually the one on the right here as previously this was completely unplayable even on the Nvidia rigs for me using Parsec. So Moonlight was really the only option for streaming especially above 1080p on higher latency connections. Locally it still did quite good but Moonlight always seemed to beat it to the post. However now Parsec is definitely very close on par. As we go full screen with the Parsec one you do see a little bit of stutter there compared to the Moonlight version as we switch between the two. On the higher latency connection we still do get a little bit of stutter here and there on Parsec. On the Parsec side however it's so much closer now In most cases it's barely noticeable between the two. Now this is absolutely huge this is Cyberpunk 2077 so it's really pushing this rig to the limits anyway. You can see the GPU sat up there between 70 and 90 percent when we're driving around there. So let's dive into a bit of combat. There is a very small amount of input lag on the Parsec side. But on the Nvidia rigs especially the input latency is barely noticeable as an increment over Moonlight. However on the desktop Parsec's responsiveness and client side rendering is far superior than Moonlight. So it is worth mentioning that in game it is a minor increase for Parsec but easy to get used to. However when you are using the desktop Parsec is much much better than Moonlight. So that input latency really coming across in the minimalistic way for the actual gaming side and really does make Parsec a much more viable solution now even if you are already using Moonlight. So there is a huge advantage of Parsec which I haven't mentioned yet so if we throw in the AMD rigs which Moonlight is not supported on. So out of these three can you tell which one is actually running on an AMD PC? Now if you look at the frames per second, unfortunately AMD doesn't do as well there, so it is actually the far right image here. But as you can see, running Parsec on AMD is an extremely good option now. This is the 5700 XT AMD on the right hand side, whereas the other two are running on the maximum settings 2080 Super Rig. But as you can see, AMD and Parsec is a much more viable option now, and if you're looking to Play Cyberpunk 2077, the 5700 XT, which is the tier 3 AMD, which is cheaper than the 2080 Super and generally in easier supply, is definitely a good option here. Although it is around 10 frames per second less than the maximum settings 2080 in most cases, it's still an extremely good option and at 25 cents an hour cheaper, it's definitely a good option. And I have it on good authority that there may be some better AMD rigs coming very soon to maximum settings. So this update to Parsec could not have come at a better time. As you can see here, the AMD Parsec side is, is definitely a huge improvement over previous times. As previously on AMD at 1440p, I would not be able to play any game, let alone Cyberpunk 2077, this smoothly. Let us know in the comments below what you think of the Parsec update and whether you're going to be using Parsec moving forwards for your gaming or just your general needs. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things cloud gaming and we will see you next time.